morning everyone it is a very gloomy ish but sunny day in june <laughs> it's been a long time since i've vlogged as well but yeah i'm actually going to the academy and i'm starting my elective today kind of excited for it because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking through poetry and then we're gonna look into how we're gonna read it and then based on the poem and how you read the certain words in the poem we're gonna make our own like zine spread so very excited it's been a while since i vlogged i'm sorry i haven't i didn't vlog basically my the first half of this semester it was just really busy and honestly very boring if i was gonna vlog because I was just at the computer the whole time and stressing over my group mates, making sure that they're actually doing work. So yeah, hopefully I'll be doing some more exciting for my personal project. Yes, I hope you will enjoy this vlog now that I'm back. <laughs> Down. Well, I have nothing to do after my lecture. Have a coffee date with my friend later, though. Would be nice. <laughs> a good time to explain what on earth my elective is so my elective is called new ways of reading and what we're doing is looking into poetry and we realize that poetry is usually um, shown or just like displayed in a certain very standardized way i've chose the poem called crust of bread and such by Muki Katigbak La Cuesta, who is a Filipino poet and um, author as well. She mentioned that it was originally supposed to be a poem about love, but it turned out into an anti-love one. And this is what I have now going on so far. I started this at school and doing it on Illustrator. <laughs> to just draw with like actual pictures i want to stick with using words but in a way using text as the visual element but yeah <laughs> you'll see what i do hi everyone so thankfully i can talk but right now i just came from my wisdom to surgery so this Oh, my face is really numb and I have to go in the soft diet so I'm just making myself a breakfast smoothie yeah because I need to drink other medicine for my acne and that one I can only have after eating basically heavy 
ちゃんと見ました。Okay, so I can't properly talk right now because <laughs> and I can't show you. But this is what I have so far of what I did with the poem and I think I'm done. I don't want to do any more. Um, let me show you some previous stuff how they looked. These were the options as well, where I just traced this image of a bread and it originally looks like this. And I kept it all in one font, but I got um Opinions from friends saying that I should change up the fonts and because of the What do you want to call it? The Poem was originally written as a love poem But then it transformed into an anti-love poem Hence why I went with like a What do you call it? Is it sans serif? Right? Yeah Font and then it slowly transitions into a serif font and the title as well very saturated in like dark colors and I added some colors to kind of simulate it and drip on a little butter yeah I think this is done I'm gonna submit it like yeah <laughs> I'm gonna talk like this because I have an ice pack wrapped in my face because of my wisdom teeth but yeah, this has been my elective, me at home, didn't expect myself to be at home today, but the swelling was a lot and then the pain is a lot of, like, okay, the pain is bearable, but it's just, it's just not it, you know, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna be like this for a while. See you on Monday and this weekend. Hopefully, the swelling will go down. <laughs> actually made a zine of all our poems so the organizer of the poetry international actually commented on our poem and he said he really liked the format because it seemed natural and the when I did the transitioning to a different font I think this is my favorite spread. 